Well, thank you, Dr. Rowe, and it, it's an honor to be here on the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives tonight with my fellow DOC Caucus members, and I think uh, I want to thank Dr. Rowe for putting this uh, special order together. It, it is really important that the American people hear from uh, the, the medical professionals in the Congress about this really critical issue. Um, you know, I, I remember back in medical school, um, one of my first rotations, I was on pediatrics, and, uh, you know, I understood vaccines to a certain extent, but then one of my first patients that I had um, had whooping cough um, because uh, they hadn't been vaccinated. And so, you know, that's when I started to understand, you know, what it actually means to have safe and effective vaccines, not only for children, but also for other diseases. And look, in this situation, what we need to do as the American people is we need to work to restore our way of life uh, in America and around the world. And how, do, how are we going to do that as it relates to COVID-19? Well, we're going to have to have a safe and effective vaccine. And what I've been impressed with uh, really over the last few months, uh, up to about six months, is the unprecedented response uh, from this administration as it relates to developing, developing a vaccine so that we can restore our way of life in America and around the world. And, and what, have, what have they done? Working along with Congress, of course, there's been financing to help finance research and development of the vaccine, but also other things. So Operation Warp Speed has really put in an unprecedented streamlining of the process. Let me just say this, not eliminating the process of developing a vaccine, which would potentially make it uh, a problematic with safety and efficacy and whether it works or not, uh, but streamlining the process, doing things together with, the, with private sector companies, helping design the research protocols after they've helped pick the best candidates um, for an effective vaccine. So the federal government working in concert with the private sector, helping to pick the best candidates, not just, not just people throwing out, hey, I got a great candidate here, but looking at the science of, of these, of these uh, developments or this research, helping to pick the best candidates and then streamlining the process by helping to design the further protocols, as Dr. Rowe has mentioned, you know, the phase one, two, and three trials and working in concert. So the federal government doesn't just sit back and say, like would normally happen is, well, let's do your, pro do your, your uh, research, um, go through the process, show us that this works. See, the government under this administration is working in, in concert at the same time so that once we, once we have this vaccine get to the point where uh, it's been developed, people at FDA already know what's been happening with this vaccine. It's unprecedented, really. And other, I think Dr. Burgess just mentioned the, man, or, uh, the manufacturing process, already manufacturing uh, the vaccines before they develop. So as soon as it gets proven to be safe, number one, effective, number two, Look, we're going to be able to, we're going to have vaccines available. Again, that would not happen without Operation Warp Speed. And the, let, me, let me just say this in, in closing, and then I'll yield back to Dr. Rowe. These are career scientists at FDA, NIH, Health and Human Services. These are people who have worked many for decades on vaccine development. The narrative that, this is a, that politicians are driving this is just not true. The reality is, and, and I think uh, Dr. Collins from, uh, Francis Collins from the NIH testified in, in front of Congress last week or the week before, is that science is driving this. We want safe and effective vaccines. And let me just say this, when there's a vaccine available and when the healthcare providers, other people who are at high risk and everyone has had uh, uh, their chance to be vaccinated, I will take this vaccine myself. 
because I have confidence that the process we are going through will ensure safety and it will ensure efficacy, the vaccine will work, and let's help restore our way of life. With that, I yield back to Dr. Rowe.